Has there been a hotter topic of discussion than vaccines these past 15 months? Well, experts have, experts have offered their expertise. There were questions of what is and what is not a vaccine this whole time and all the other stuff that went along with that. Now, despite how quickly the COVID vaccine came around, vaccines themselves have been around for hundreds of years. COVID aside, our vaccination rate in Idaho has taken a hit recently. So the question is, does it have anything to do with the heightened political atmosphere that we've been experiencing these last couple of months? Joe Paris joining us now. You spoke with an immuniz immunization expert out of Twin Falls. And what are they keeping an eye on? I know COVID has always been something we've been watching closely for the last several months, but now they're looking at other things. Yeah, it'd be easy for all of us to forget. There's other viruses and things in the world other than the coronavirus. So there is for sure still attention on COVID and COVID vaccines and boosters. That remains important, but you have to remember there's renewed attention now on vaccines that are common for children. Those childhood vaccines so many people get. Now, South Central Public Health District in Twin Falls reports early data saying that general vaccine rates among children have declined over the last two years. And the issue here is it places Idaho children and teens at risk for vaccine preventable diseases. Things like measles, mumps, pertussis, which is the whooping cost. All those things, those MMR shots. Now, epidemiologists are doubling down on vaccine effectiveness as they encourage families to get their kids vaccinated against those preventable illnesses. Now, Tannis Maxwell, who's the South Central Health District Epidemiology Program Manager, has this thought. Vaccines prevent disease. Um, they are, we do see that in our vaccine um, rates prior to COVID that we, we've seen a decline of diseases over the, the years. Um, so it, they prevent disease and it also helps prevent um, disease um, exposure for individuals who can't be vaccinated yet, those little babies or young children. And a real reason right now why public health experts are drawing attention to this, they're asking families to consider travel. For the first time in nearly two years, many families are now finally able to go on big trips outside of the country and something taken for granted sometimes here in the United States, the low levels of preventable disease in our country because of traditional use of vaccines. So if you and your family are going abroad this spring or summer, epidemiologists have this advice. There's more potential to be an exposed to those diseases, um, especially if you travel and we are coming on a to the summer months where individuals may travel. So it's important to protect yourself against those where you may travel to areas where the diseases may be more prominent um, and potentially exposed. And there's been a lot said about vaccines and vaccine technology over the last two years. And again, if you just put COVID aside for just a moment, experts remind you that vaccines for things like mumps and measles, they're highly effective. And the reason why we've been able to push these diseases out of our communities over the years. And the science and impact remain true. Vaccines save lives. It's very important to protect yourself. Um, getting the knowledge and education about vaccines um, will protect you and your family. And we don't want to see a resurgent of diseases that have been prevented by vaccines. And, and Brian, there's been so much, I guess, attention and pol politicization of really vaccines and all of that. So mm -hmm. when people have questions about vaccines, sometimes they're hesitant to ask because they're worried it's a loaded question. If I ask my doctor, if I ask my primary provider about immunizations, they're going to think I'm anti-vax and I don't want them to think that. Or maybe you just have questions about that. We've heard so much about mRNA technology and COVID vaccines over the years. It, it really doesn't apply. It's not the exact same one in one thing, the mRNA versus other things that right. are out there. So a great piece of advice. If you do have questions about vaccines, about you and your family, reach out, reach out to your doctor and get that taken care of. Because again, there's a reason why a thing like polio has gone away is because very highly effectively we're able to vaccinate against it. Now we talked about COVID. I did want to mention this because we haven't really been following it on the 208 for good reason. If you're wondering, 55% of Idahoans aged five and older are considered fully vaccinated. So again, 55% okay. five and older. The nationwide number for that age group, again, five and older, 70%. So Ooh. Idaho is, I mean, really behind the curve right. here. So a reminder, Idaho health, health experts are recommending you get the COVID vaccine, you get the boosters. The numbers are down. For example, Idaho only reported 29 cases back on Friday. So it's been good news on the COVID front, but it's not like the virus is gone. It's still in our community. So they are asking people, please get the COVID vaccines. Experts say they are safe and effective. Okay, so the 55%, you're talking about COVID now. Just COVID. Just, just COVID. COVID. I thought you were talking about like overall vaccination rate. Okay, now just I'm with Just COVID you. specifically. Gotcha. Okay, well, that makes sense. All right, thank you very much, Joe.